In this video, we are going to be discussing the travel signature on the i20 and the DS 2019 for F1 and J1 visa students respectively. And you're also going to understand why it's important to pay attention to your travel signature when making plans to deport the United States. So make sure to watch this video to the end as I'm going to explain what you can do if you realize too late that your travel signature is expired. The travel signature is an endorsement provided by your school's international student office to international students on an F1 or J1 visa status. This endorsement can be found on page 2 or 3 on the form I-20 for F1 visa students and on page 1 of the DS 2019 for J-1 visa students. Now, new international students entering the U.S. for the first time do not get a travel signature on their initial form I-20 or form DS 2019. The purpose of this travel signature is to seek entry back into the U.S. when an international student travels outside of the U.S. Nonetheless, the travel signature is not a required document to depart the United States as an international student. Depending on your academic status, the validity of your travel signature could be for 6 months or 12 months. For example, F1 and J1 students completing their programs receive a travel signature that's valid for about 12 months or until the end of their program completion date, whichever comes first. While F1 or J1 students who have completed their programs of study and are engaged in either F1 OPT or F1 STEM OPT or J1 academic training receive a travel signature that's valid for 6 months or until the end of the respective training period, whichever is sooner. So, when making travel plans outside of the US, you should always, always ensure that the travel signature on your I-20 or DS 2019 will be valid on the day you plan to return to the US. Otherwise, you should obtain a new travel signature from your school's international office before you depart the United States. Now, a quite common scenario F1 and J1 international students find themselves in is forgetting to obtain a travel signature before traveling outside of the US. So what can you do if you realize that you deported the US with an expired travel signature? Well, if you find yourself in this predicament, you got two options. Your first option will be to contact your school's international student office and request that a new I-20 or DS 2019 with an updated travel signature be mailed to your international address. Now, this would only make sense if you have enough time to receive your updated travel signature before embarking on your return trip to the US. If this is not the case, then you might want to consider the delaying your return trip to the US until you've received your updated travel signature. Now, just for a quick note, at the time of making this video, due to the ongoing pandemic, F1 international students do not need to have an originally signed form I-20 in order to enter the U.S. as they can do so with an electronically signed form I-20. But this is subject to change at any time. Now, option number two is quite risky as you may be denied entry into the U.S., but you could proceed to travel to the U.S. and seek entry with this expired travel signature. And in some instances, this may be your only option, as is the case with some instances international students who find out at the port of entry that their travel signature was expired before their departure from the U.S. Now, with this option, if a U.S. Customs Officer admits you into the U.S., you'll be given a form called the I-515A. This form is a notice that requires you to correct the entry deficiencies determined upon your arrival to the U.S. within 30 days of your entry. For F1 and J1 international students entering the U.S. with an expired travel signature, you will be required to obtain a valid travel signature on your I-20 or DS 2019, respectively and send that to the Student Exchange Visitor Program, SEVP, as well as all the documents listed on your Form I-515A. Now, if you've received the Form I-515A, it's best to contact your school's international student office as soon as possible to receive proper guidance. Now, as you can see, to avoid all these unnecessary headaches, it's best to make it a habit to check your travel signature in advance of your travel outside of the U.S. I hope you found this video as a helpful resource. And to the continuing international students watching this video, right Right now, are you aware of the expiration date of your travel signature? Let us know in the comment section below. Please like and share this video as it helps with the reach of this content. There's a lot where this came from, so if we're meeting for the first time, make sure to subscribe to the channel to catch up with all the latest helpful videos coming your way. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. But until then, be unbounded.